Hey everybody, it's Grant, and today we have a great video for you. I know there's gonna be a ton of learning lessons here. The richest, this LA mega mansion, bankrupt this millionaire. So here on my channel, you guys all know that I love to teach you from my mistakes, my wins, and other people's mistakes and wins as well. From this title, I am genuinely excited, not for the person going bankrupt, but for us to learn how this happened because the richest is full of so many, so many juicy but quick fire details. So I got my spark, link in the description below, and uh, let's get into it. Unfortunately, Dr. Alex Kadavi, dermatologist to the stars, had eyes bigger than his wallet. Hey, the dermatologist? Looks like his millionaire status was only skin deep. Before we get into the drama, let's break down this mega mansion. This luxurious behemoth of a property was originally just a plot of land with a view. Then Dr. Kadavi bought the lot in 2013 for $16 million. That's a lot of money for some dirt. Uh, but hey, look, Los Angeles, so much money, I can't remember where I'm at. But that's a lot. That's a lot, bro. So you must be a multi-millionaire. I don't know why the word multi-millionaire is less powerful than millionaire. He saw the 360 degree views that span from the San Gabriel Mountains to the Channel Islands and knew that's where he wanted to build his dream home. And dream he certainly did. The house completed as of 2021 fits in perfectly with the Bel Air neighborhood with its seven bedrooms and 21,000 square feet of floor space. Not to mention its extravagant interiors, which cost $30 million to construct. For context... Holy crap. So look, let's start off with what's going on in this video. His eyes are bigger than his wallet. I mean, look, how much skin do you have to look at? I mean, have you ever been to a dermatologist? They like look at you and they're like, ah, you're fine. Obviously, the good doctor needs a refresher course on what budget means. But despite his mistakes, Dr. Alex did build a stunning home with a laundry list of unique amenities. The entire building is a luxurious reflection of Gaddafi's interests and imagination. It could easily pass for a modern art museum. When you pull up, the house is guarded by big mirrored steel gates. Then once you enter- Pointless, but cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. Enter, you drive uphill on the slate driveway to the front entrance. The grand entryway is white and sleek with black metal and glass accents. A unique chandelier of sorts hangs in the middle and immediately draws your attention. From this room, you have a clear view of the large living room and the view of Los Angeles in the distance. Also, off the grand entrance is a glass elevator that's made to look like it's plunging into a large koi pond outside. Above the entrance is a glass bottom- Koi pond? That's a pool. <laughs> That looks, that looks swimmable. I don't know. It's cool though. Bridge that connects different areas of the house the and overlooks world? the living room. When you walk through the entryway into the sitting area, you're actually stepping off a secret DJ platform. It pops up out of the floor on a hydraulic lift. You're not sure why the DJ needs to be airlifted to jam, but, but it looks cool with plenty of space for multiple couches, chairs, and tables. The room is airy and bright with an entire wall of windows. It opens out into the backyard and shows off the house's stunning view of the city. Adjacent to the living area is the kitchen. Similar to the rest of the house, this room is full of natural light from floor to ceiling windows. It also has a modern design with expensive marble countertops, a gas range, and a unique teak light feature on the ceiling that looks like a maze. It's cool. That I, It's very cool. I'm sure the banker that's living in it right now and, and showing it thinks it's cool, or the bank. It turns out onto a terrace with a huge dining table that could seat 12 comfortably. We can only imagine how nice it would be to eat a meal with a view like that and not get a bill after. The living room, kitchen, and outdoor areas are all great options for entertaining. But for the more niche crowd, Dr. Alex cooked up something special, a tequila bar. It has a backlit shelving area to display the tequila, cushioned bar stools, and a lounge area that opens out to the yard. It's the right mix of classic and chic that makes it feel like a high-end nightclub. But we admit we were slightly disappointed 
disappointed to find that tequila by the champs doesn't play on a constant loop. It's clear why he wanted access to the yard from every room on the ground floor. The outdoor space is a dream for entertaining, with multiple seating areas, including one that surrounds a modern L-shaped fire pit encased in glass. But the real showstopper is the huge infinity-edge swimming pool that looks out on the incredible city view. There's a Baja platform in the pool that holds up a row of lounge chairs, and Dr. Gaddafi installed a series... I mean, look at this place. The architect from this property made bank. Like, the architect is over there like, sorry you went bankrupt, bro. Partly my fault. Uh, but look how cool it looks. I did my job. That are designed to pump in time with music. This happens in tandem with a custom digital laser show modeled after Disneyland's elaborate world of color attraction. His version involves a rotatable 3D laser projector on the roof that casts light into the shape of a rhombus over the pool. You can't compete with a corporate giant like Disney, but we applaud him for trying. Other amenities include a guest house. Well, then turn it on. <laughs> I want to see. I don't want to see the Disney show, The Richest. I want to see his show. Million dollar category. That is a drastically different price point from a house that cost sixteen million dollars before there was even a blueprint for it. Additionally, a crucial part of being wait the land. That's what you meant, but the land cost sixteen million. This, this. Whew. Yeah. I don't ever want to live in something like this. Like, do you know how much money you can make by invest? So, okay, like. I understand California is drastically more expensive. I understand the view is amazing, but like if you work a lot, what do you need the view for? You know, uh, put like a giant TV out in the back for a hundred grand instead of sixty million dollar friggin'. You know, watch the game, bro. Watch some anime, bro. Watch some YouTube, bro. But not the view. I mean, the view can be great, but phew, sixty million dollars for a view. That's f u money, folks. I don't even. I can't. I can't get it. I don't get it. Mm -mm. If I was worth, if I was worth a hundred million dollars. I still would not live in a house like this. If I was worth $200 million, nope. Three, maybe. Four, maybe. But there's no way a dermatologist that does Botox is worth $400 million. Was successful in the luxury home market is knowing who to hire for remodeling. The homes are bigger and more architecturally complex than the average suburban colonial. And materials themselves are generally more expensive too. Gaddafi claims he didn't have connections with the types of contractors capable of taking on a project of this scale. That brings us to... He was taken advantage of because all he did was say, okay, 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 okay. Like in my new house, once again, remodel. I'm doing a remodel. It, 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 and it's mine's... Still nice, not this nice, but like we're changing out all the AC. It, it currently has AC, but because I've added so much more glass, but because I've added so many of these really cool, like if you haven't seen a, a video on this, link in the description right here, uh, the video is right here, $38,000 is the bid, but it's got like dehumidifiers because we brought a, bruh, bruh, but if I don't do it right, then I'm gonna have problems later. So I am, this house is not my forever home, but it's my until I'm mid 40 home. So I gotta like it, let's move, never know. To the second factor that led to bankruptcy, the timeline. The amount of time it took to finish this house is a blazing red flag. It doesn't normally take nearly a decade to build a home. And yet the project wasn't finished until 2021, eight years after Gaddafi bought it. Granted, the pandemic was a significant and unforeseen factor in the later delays. Gaddafi said crews were often out because a member would come down with a virus and everyone would stay home. They what they do and no one wanted to work. Regardless There's of so way, much whining. Topic, a third factor also having to do with construction is mistakes. We don't claim to know anything about architecture or construction. However, mistakes were made. Within the first year, Gaddafi parted ways with his architect and his primary contractor. He'd run into issues with the work his contractors had done. A beam they installed was blocking the views from the primary bedroom and had to be ripped out. Contractors also reportedly failed to waterproof the guest house, which forced Dr. Alex to rip out millions of dollars worth of marble. Mistakes like this... Millions of dollars worth of marble. Calm down, rich people. Are an egregious waste of time and materials, which brings us to the fourth and probably biggest factor: budget. After dropping 16 million on the land, Dr. Gaddafi or lack of budget, because this is insane. Like 10 million dollar budget to build a house from the ground up, but very quickly into the project, his eyes were bigger than his pockets, and he spared no expense when yeah. he should have been sparing most expenses. Some telling examples would be the finishings throughout the house. 
He stained his wood floors with 24 karat gold dust. Also, his budget for marble was $10 per square foot, but he sprung for the Calicata Extra Gold, which runs for $150 per square foot. If he was willing to spend 15 times more than he was supposed to on marble, it's not hard to figure out how he spent 20 million over budget. Rule number one of big ticket shopping. Don't buy a Lamborghini if you make Honda money. Dr. Gaddafi is the first to admit. Listen, that's 100% right. You have to have a budget. And on my house, I don't necessarily have one, but I have a maximum budget. And when we go and do the fireplaces, I weigh like, all right, this is a cool focal point. This is a part where somebody's going to see it. So I want to go with the seven foot mantle really within it was concrete. It's got to be nice, but we're not going to do like a $40,000 mantle on my doors. I blew the budget off the walls. I got a $25,000 front door, but that's the first thing that you see. When it comes to my flooring, like I'm still doing a within reasonable budget on flooring, like five to $10 a foot. And the reason it's all as big as it is, is because there's this cool thing that doesn't conduct heat that I'm looking at. That's very expensive. But in the long run, I want my flooring material to match. We're, we're quoting out the whole thing. We're trying to make sure it makes it work. And in a time where materials are going crazy up and down. So it's just a lot. It's a lot to take in, but you have to pay attention to every single dime. Every single one, or you will go crazy above your budget. Because then you're like, oh, I want to change this. But changing that one thing turns into changing another thing, and another thing, and another thing, and another thing. That's why doing remodels and things, paint the walls, change the fixtures, and rent it. And if you have to, change the floors, but do some kind of luxury vinyl plank that's scratch resistant, that just glues down. It, 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 there's so many easy ways. We do it here on the channel all the time. Don't be $20 million over budget. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh my gosh. He dreams too big with his house. He put it on the market for $87.777 million in May of 2021. But the houses around it. Or like a million bucks or two million or whatever they were i just mm -mm. heavens in the weirdly specific looking price were a reference to his favorite number obviously it didn't sell immediately and after a few weeks dr alex filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy protection the judge in his hearing said she could sign off on the sale of the property by auction with a reserve price of 50 million dollars that means that 50 million dollars is the minimum amount that he can accept as the winning bid Gaddafi believes that 50 million is a low ball offer and that the view alone is worth 100 million as of right now he says he's confident that his property will sell for more than the reserve price. This just goes to show that the phrase, look, irresponsible, non-budgeting, and just complete and utter waste. You could, this person, if he's worth 10 million bucks, just went, cr some people are crazy folks. Listen, never, the number one thing you can take from this video is don't live above your means. Even if you make, uh, two to four million dollars a year, if that's what this person makes, or a million dollars a year, whatever, whatever it takes to be able, I mean, I make more than that, and I, I don't, I don't buy this kind of stuff. I don't, I don't know how much he could pay, possibly make a year. I don't fathom it because I don't make it, right? If, if he makes five, six million dollars a year, I don't, I don't understand that. But, but two, I get that, I understand that, but I invest everything, so I'm, I'm baffled. I'm baffled, I'm baffled, I'm mad, I'm frustrated, very frustrated, but here's the thing, live, below your means, you can live paycheck to paycheck, even if you were the Botox connoisseur, dermatologist of California, right? Um, whew, yeah. I believe in you, pay attention, budget right, work hard, work smart. That's it for the video, I'm frustrated. See you guys later.